Now just to give you an idea as to how much dung does get dropped in a paddock, a farmer with a total of 250 head of cattle, which includes weaners and calves, each day he has four tonnes of dung a day being dropped on his property, which equates to 28 tonnes of dung a, a week and 1,600 tonnes of dung a year is being dropped on that farmer's product paddock. So I like farmers to look at dung in their paddock as being a massive wasted resource when it sits on top of the ground. Now when dung beetles do bury dung in a farmer's paddock, that's what we see on the surface. There is often a little bit of crust left on the surface. The dung beetles are unable to take dried dung down the tunnel. They can only take wet, moist dung down a dung beetle tunnel. They then, the female then moulds it into a ball and lays an egg in each one of those balls of dung. And once dung dries out, <clears throat> they're unable to take it down the tunnel and form that ball. But however, that, that crust often only represents one or two percent of the total volume of dung. Now under that loose soil, you get a series of holes leading into the ground like this. And this is where the story is told.